Uh, yeah, this is really, really good. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another challenge week video today We are kicking off Olivia Crimson Bride as our build around card If you don't know what this is essentially we task you all our amazing community with a card and a format We ask you to create a very creative but capable of winning style deck uh, That we then pit against each other. We pick three of the submissions uh, fight against each other essentially Whoever gets the most wins out of three in that particular format is the winner, and that winner gets a free mystery bundle of uh, proxies or digital alters that we normally only have available to our Patreon members. So uh, if you want to get your hands on some of those and you just want to have some fun, this is a great way to do it. We're kicking off with Spinner Raptor. Uh, Spinner Raptor not only was a or has been a very influential member of our community, but is also a great deck builder. Uh, so Spinner Raptor, great to see you back, my friend. I know you didn't uh, get a chance to to put a deck together for last week, so I'm really happy to see you here. Obviously, this is a pretty uh, straightforward one, but I think we're gonna start off strong with it. So. It is an Unburial Rights deck, it's a Lake to Dinner deck, it's a Reanimator deck, we know that. Uh, obviously, Olivia Crimson Bride basically is uh, a Reanimator spell in, in all on her own, excuse me, uh, which is really cool, uh, but the idea is essentially we're gonna turbo mill ourselves. So we've got Stitcher Supplier, Faithless Looting, we've got things like Thrilling Discovery to get cards out of hand, we've got some really nice stuff to discard. The goal is to get things like Unburial Rights into the graveyard as well as some of these big old creatures, and hopefully pull them back with the Unburial Rites or the Late to Dinner, which creates a food token for us uh, and then returns a creature to the battlefield as well. We also, which is a really nice include, have Priest of Fell Rites, which allows us to do this on uh, essentially turn three, which is kind of ridiculous. I mean, that's very, very good. Uh, Bone Shards is here as well. To, to do this, you have to either sacrifice a creature or discard a card, but that's fine. We can discard a card. <laughs> uh, and yeah, essentially all the all this stuff is just stuff we want to get into the graveyard. We've got a free flame painter that's going to allow us to replay some of our instants and sorceries. We've got Drana. Whenever it attacks, defending player chooses a non-legendary creature card in your graveyard. You can return it to the battlefield with an additional 1-1 counter on it. It's a vampire in addition to its other types. Uh, we've got Burning rune demon a really really nice way to uh really add some pressure to the board very quickly of course olivia is in here we've got the full four as well sarah's emissary giving us protection from basically whatever we choose uh shieldred essentially i mean this is kind of the og uh mechanic of just continuously bringing something back every turn this is like very very overpowered olivia in my view um but uh essentially kind of doubling up on the effect and then we've got terror of mount velas uh, essentially giving things double strike until the end of the turn when it enters the battlefield so the idea is this should be able to finish off the game pretty quickly but uh, that's really it. It's a pretty straightforward reanimator list, but I think it's gonna be a good one We're gonna send this through three games uh, spinner after uh, we're gonna see how many wins we can get with this list I'm a sucker for a good reanimator list. So let's see what we can do uh, and again Thank you spinner after so much for submitting to today's challenge all right guys and here we are for game number one uh, now this isn't necessarily an amazing hand to be honest but it does have all of our colors of mana essentially no turn one play unfortunately but i think we're gonna try this one uh not an ideal keep obviously you'd love to be able to play that stitcher supplier turn one uh and just go ahead and get that down but that's okay we'll see what we can do um that's not a bad draw because bone shards does want a discard target uh, so being able to discard that Sarah's Emissary is actually quite good for us because that's kind of exactly what we need to do. Uh, all right, let's stitch our supplier. Let's see what we get. Uh, lands and a Faithless Looting. Would have really loved those lands, but that is okay. Uh, I will happily take that. So it did foretell a card. I'm curious to see what that ends up being. It might just be a Doom Scar. This is probably Control, uh, which is going to make it a very annoying matchup at at the very least. So, and again, unfortunately, no land. That's kind of 
really bad for us. Uh, let's go ahead and play another Stitcher Supplier. They could counter this, I guess. Yep. Uh, that's fine. I mean, that's not really a big hit to us. It's not, I mean, we obviously want to fill our graveyards, so it's kind of a hit, but it's really not that big of a deal. Sure. Uh, again, not the end of the world. Okay, this is very helpful. Um, let's do this. We gotta discard the Olivia, obviously. Uh, <laughs> just because we gotta get that one going. Oh, very good. Okay, so we did get the land, which is super helpful. Worst case scenario, that allows us to Faithless Looting this upcoming turn. Uh, and get, you know, Unburial Rites plus some other stuff into the graveyard. So, they may counter this. I don't know, but it looks like not no land oh no uh that's really really bad okay let's go for the demon um worth noting they have not drawn many lands either which is actually really helpful for us but ah uh, there it is okay uh faithless looting is quite good for us it just makes sure that we're hopefully going to be digging for more land here but let's go ahead and throw this out there let's see what we get Perfect. Okay, uh, let's get both of these in the graveyard. Uh, let's throw this out there tapped. Now, this is probably going to eat a removal spell, which is fine, but they did not counter, which is very worth noting uh, that they decided, and um, maybe they probably couldn't, but it's very worth noting that they did not counter. Okay, cool. So we can actually reanimate two things here. Uh, so we can have a pretty strong turn. Uh, if we would like to. Alright, uh, so, let's do this. Let's bring back, I mean, we gotta bring back Olivia, naturally. Uh, let's also unburial rights, and let's bring back the demon. Uh, take action. Let's see, two different card names. Let's get Shieldred, maybe? Uh, and Sarah's Emissary. I think that's pretty good. Uh, so one of these, uh, put the chosen card into the hand, the other into the graveyard, so that's fine. Um, these aren't necessarily amazing. Truthfully, we could have just gotten lands and been perfectly happy. Uh, we need some lands, but uh, this should be a pretty, a pretty bomb turn for us here. Creatures you control gain double strike, okay. Okay, so we get Shieldred, that's fine. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, and we're gonna say protection from sorceries, I think. What that does is protects us from, um, in particular, wrath effects. Hmm. I lied. That's not how that works at all. All right, well, that's actually not the end of the world for us either, so that's cool. Um, we still get to win this turn, so that's fine. Let's get Olivia. Uh, let's attack. Uh, and let's get the Terra. And there we go. We did it. Spinner Raptor. That is our first win since we have been back at Challenge Week. Oh my gosh, thank you. Uh, okay, that was actually really good, especially considering uh, a control matchup as well as the land issue. But hey, we made it work. That's fantastic. Let's move on to game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. This is a bit of an odd keep uh, because we can't do turn one supplier plus then thrilling discovery, but I think this is an okay keep. We actually don't need to play the thrilling discovery right away. We don't have anything we'd necessarily want to discard, so it's not super relevant for us to just go and play that out anyway. Uh, a little unfortunate, we didn't mill anything all that helpful, um, but that's okay. Looks like life gain is the play. Uh, let's go enter that tapped. I'm all too happy to attack in here. Chances are they're not going to block. They don't want to block this, uh, with their Soul Warden. This is going to activate quite a bit of their deck, I can only assume. All right. Perfect. That's actually very good. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to discard you and you. Get Olivia out of there. Uh, ooh, very nice. Okay, that's super super good okay so we've got the priest now that's just gonna allow us not this coming turn but the turn after to be able to reanimate the olivia uh and hopefully play some nice little shenanigans with that but uh very curious to see how this plays out actually because this 
is gonna get scary very quickly. Uh, obviously, Righteous Valkyrie is a terrifying card. Um, all right, let's do this. They do gain life from all this, which is a little unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna guarantee us the, uh, I think guarantee us basically the uh, the ability to, to reanimate the Olivia. Uh, the reason I'm playing both of these out, I know it gains them an extra life, but if they happen to have like a Banishing Light or something like that, they can Banishing Light one of the priests, but they can't do it to both, uh, which I think is quite relevant. Um, now this is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> uh, this Voice of the Blessed gets out of hand very, very quickly, so I am very nervous about that, but we'll do what we can. All right. Uh, good news here. Let's do this. We're obviously just going to discard whoops, both of these. All right. Give me something. There's a Shieldred. Uh, Shieldred's very good, but it actually isn't necessarily the most exciting play in the world, but it's fine. Um, all right. So we attack with just Olivia. We bring this back. Uh, unfortunately, this is also going to be attacking, but Oh, that's really bad. Why did I do that? Oh, no. Spinneraptor, I messed it up. Spinneraptor, no, I'm so sorry. All right. Yep. Uh, that was just a bad call on my end. Uh, I didn't think about the life gain from the reanimation spell or the target itself. So that unfortunately did bolster them up quite a bit. Ugh, OK, cool. I'll be honest, I think we would have been losing then anyway, but that feels really bad. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're just dead. That's fine. All right. Unfortunately, whether that definitely was a misplay on my end, uh, whether that mattered or not, I'm not 100% sure. I think they could have just easily won because we just didn't have much going for us then. But they did win it. So unfortunately, we're only at one win. Let's see if we can get a second spinner after in game three. All right, guys, here we are. This is going to be our final game. Uh, and this is a pretty good keep, actually. This is really good. Um, we've got double stitcher supplier. We've got faithless looting. We've got the reanimation spell. Kind of everything we need. Let's go ahead and go for it. Uh, oh, thank you. Wow. Well, this is going to work great. Um, OK, uh, with that in mind, um, I do think we're just going to end up going stitcher supplier here. I mean, that's kind of fine. Um, and there's the Unburial Rites. So we basically just have to hope they can't exile our graveyard. So hopefully they don't have like Ashiok or something. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I don't particularly care about that. Um, so what's the quickest way we can do this? Uh, let's do this for now. And we'll just throw out another Stitcher Supplier. Next turn, we get to Faithless Looting. Um, yeah, I mean, they're helping us out, so that's cool with me. Um, Faithless Looting's gonna throw away the Olivia. Uh, and even, actually, even if they exile our graveyard, we've got the Olivia plus late to dinner play next, or the following turn, so this should be fine. What? All right, so maybe this is just a bad deck. <laughs> maybe that's what's going on. All right, uh, let's do this. Discard you two, definitely. Um, that's hilarious. Um, we're just gonna pass. We could attack in, and if they wanna kill, they can kill, but it doesn't really matter. Um, worth noting, we should also use the Unburial Rites prior to the late to dinner, I believe, just in case they have an exile effect, but given they're playing these little things, which are not good, um, I think we are up against an opponent that has some interesting uh, options. Okay, so let's throw you out. Let's unburial rights. Uh, and we got to go for Olivia, right? We just have to. They might have a counter, to be fair. They could have negate. Devin's veto. Sure. You got it. Uh, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> We've got effects on effects, so we can stack these as much as we'd like. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's very cool. Again, they're just filling our graveyard, though, so it's kind of fine. Um, 
All right, let's sun burial rights again. Uh, we'll get Olivia. We can honestly just bone shards the uh, the secret keeper as well, which we should do for sure. Uh, let's just do this and let's just say creatures. I'm gonna be easy with it. Uh, and let's go ahead and do this. We'll discard a card. We're gonna kill you. And we're gonna sack the Olivia. All right. That just gets the, the mana investing play off the table. That also is very much a combo card, so that's a bit of a worry. Sure. Yeah, nice little two for one there. I mean, it exiles, that was really, really good. The trick is we have another reanimator spell in our hand, so it really, really doesn't matter that much. Um, we also just have the priest, which is ridiculously good. All right, let's do this attack. Uh, let's get Shieldred. Uh, yeah. I guess we could Faithless Looting if we'd like. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, wait. Can we... Oh, pff. It's a food token, not a treasure token. That was stupid. Uh, that's fine. Alright, so we get them to sack a creature. Maybe they can have another prison realm or whatever and maybe they don't it doesn't really matter i think um we've got the priest of the fell rights playable and it looks like they don't have very much so i think we are gonna be fine <laughs> um sure dude hit me get yourself up to seven all right sweet uh what do we want to get let's go drana drana seems good Nice to have another vampire on the field, uh, legendary vampire. Uh, we'll just attack, I suppose. Um, we'll get priest. Priest again just gives us uh, a little bit more longevity. Cool. Um, I mean, we can just... Uh, that's not very good. Um, let's faithless looting for fun. You, you. It's Faithless Looting again. Oh, that's really good. Okay, let's ditch those two. Um, all right, cool. I mean, this is really good. <laughs> Spinner after, you kind of killed it, man. Uh, this is really sick. Um, we'll see. I mean, maybe they've got a, an insta win. Okay, that's not an insta win. Uh, that's fantastic. Let's get the demon. <laughs> This is insane. <laughs> uh, we want you, for sure. And we'll take a Sarah's Emissary, why not? Pick one. Pick one, pick one. Uh, either one we are super into and we can get both of them back, so. Uh, yeah, this is really, really good. All right. <laughs> should we? Yeah, we should. Let's get, let's get you. Let's just be over the top. All right, let's attack. Uh, We'll get priest back. I love the priest like little combo here, being able to just get this back and repeatedly like spin her after again. This is such a well thought out list. I quite enjoy that. Uh, Yep. All right. Yeah, dude, block it. Heck yes, that was fantastic. All right, spin her after. Let's chat about it. All right, so for the first time since we started Challenge Week, it only took us a week to get here, we finally got some wins. Spinner Raptor again, I can't thank you enough for submitting a deck. It is great to see you back. I know you always used to submit a good bit, so it's nice to have you here. I hope that you will continue to submit more decks uh, because you are such a great deck builder. It's great to have you in here. Uh, congratulations, man. You got two wins. You only need, I mean, if you hold that that streak, we should be able to get you that win. That'd be awesome. We do have two more days to go, though. So Wednesday and Friday, we will, of course, have more gameplay for you guys on these challenge weeks. Keep submitting deck lists. On Wednesday, we will uh, give you the new card for next week as well to, to build around. So thank you guys so much. Congratulations, Spinner Raptor. We got some wins. I love it. I'm always a good sucker for a reanimator deck, so that's awesome. But thank you guys again. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it, submit uh, a deck, and, and hang out with me again soon for some more gameplay. So thank you guys so much.